Okay, I'm gonna get ready to pick up the handles. This is gonna be a bit of work here. Okay. See, and, uh, historically, usually it was referred to as a slip scraper. And it tends to be slip along ground and use it for scraping up dirt. This particular one has a sharp rounded edge on the front of it. So it's a bit like a, a pointed shovel that you would dig with, except obviously on a much larger scale. And instead of me pushing on my foot to provide the digging power, the oxen are gonna pull on it and they're gonna force it into the ground. My job is going to be to control the handles. So what I'm really doing is just changing the angle. So it'll either dig in or stop digging when I drop the handles. And then when we get to the end after we've loaded it, then I'll flip it up quickly, push it over, and that allows the dirt to dump out in the place where we want to move it to. For many years, this was the primary way of digging holes either around a farm for road work and also even digging foundations for buildings. And that was historically. Quite often internationally, these are described as a, a dam scoop because they use them for either building small water catchments along streams or for cleaning the silt out from behind the dam after it silts in after a time. Are you ready, Jared? Okay, we'll hook up. Okay, where we soften the soil here, I'm gonna lift the handles. Hopefully it's gonna dig in. As soon as it fills, I'm gonna let the handles go down and then the front end will come up a bit and it'll just slide along. Okay. I got a little side on there, it makes it harder to load. Hold on a second. There we go, let's try it now. Then we should be all right, I think. You can step up now. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. So at this point, I don't have to do any work at all. They're doing all the work for me. Nice for me. Uh, we're gonna go down a little farther and then I'll lift the handles and we'll dump it in that low spot. Okay, I'm gonna get ready to pick up the handles. This is gonna be a bit of work here. Okay. Once it gets this far, they've pulled over. And there we go. Went right where I wanted it. Now we'll get a few more loads and fill it in a little bit more. And then we'll get another tool for smoothing it out. Uh, those tools are very common historically. Sometimes you'll see uh, pictures at construction sites from the late 1800s with a lot of people standing around, usually not with oxen, but with teams of horses and slip scrapers this style that we have here and there's a larger style that has wheels on the side of it and you'll see them all lined up there where they've been digging a foundation for a large building because the, the options were this tool the huge steam driven shovels which were a little hard to maneuver or men with the shovels and wheelbarrows so this was a popular tool when you had to do road work and all along the when they were building the road grades and the railroad grades that type of tool would have been quite a commonly used tool Pretty hard to get out of there. There we go. Got it. Okay, I'm going to catch up with you here. A little farther, and I'm going to dump it. Okay, we're getting a pretty good pile of dirt here now to use to spread out and finish this off. Um, 
So for th that's really what we'll be using that particular implement for, the slip scraper. That's really not a spreading tool, that's just for digging. You might have noticed when they were actually, when we were first driving it into the ground, when they were pulling it into the ground, that's when they were doing the heaviest work. That's when they kind of stopped there because it's a pretty heavy load. Once it pops out of the ground and they're moving it, there isn't very much of a load on it for them and they can haul it pretty easily. Okay, we moved some dirt today, so we got the rest of our work to do now with another piece of equipment. We hope to see you again when we come back out here and finish off this road.